to announce that I've introduced a privileged resolution, um, and what this will do is it will hold our government accountable for all of the funding for Ukraine. So I want to talk about that a little bit at the end, but let me explain the situation we have here. Congress has appropriated $54 billion to aid in the Ukrainian conflict. And then our president, Joe Biden, has requested another $38 billion this week. The American people, the taxpayers of this country, deserve to know where their money is going and how it's being spent. Let's just break this down a little bit. Of the $54 billion appropriated by Congress, $44 billion is for aid to Ukraine and other affected countries. But what is what other countries and how are they affected and how did the American people's taxpayer dollars go to those countries and to who and to what organization, to their government in what way? Also, how is the military assistance being appropriated? $23.3 billion is for military assistance to Ukraine and other countries impacted by the war. Again, what are, who are the other countries? How are they impacted? Are we talking about Poland, where Ukraine fired missiles and it accidentally killed two people in Poland? Is that what we're talking about? But let's talk about the aid to Ukraine. Here in the news, we're just finding out about the situation with FTX and the cryptocurrency. So is American people's taxpayer dollars going to fund aid in Ukraine but yet it's really funding something else that's happening, maybe ending up in Democrat donors' pockets? Was that helping Democrat campaigns? Was that helping Democrat candidates get elected? $8.9 billion is for the humanitarian assistance, including emergency food and assistance for Ukraine and Ukrainian refugees in the region and for other countries directly impacted by the conflict. Again, what other countries? And wh how much money went to the other countries? And what organizations are involved? Who runs these organizations? And why did they get the contracts? $11.8 billion in other assistance, including for direct budget support to Ukraine and development aid and other assistance to Ukraine and other affected countries. What development aid? What assistance? Who is running this? These are all the questions the American people have. Now, here, think about it like this. Separately from congressional appropriations, the Biden administration has already committed $17.6 billion in security assistance directly to Ukraine since the start of the war just this year. It's been about 10 months. The Biden administration has also authorized 23 drawdowns, that's selling weapons and equipment, under the presidential drawdown since August of 2021 for a total value of $10.6 billion. Now let's compare that, all of this, to what our border receives. Our Border Patrol asks for $15.46 billion to secure the border of the United States. President Trump's border wall would have only cost $22 billion. With the money we've sent to Ukraine, we could have already secured our border, but we're not doing that. We're ignoring the, the dangers happening at our border and the national security crisis that's happening in our country while we are completely protecting another country's border and also waging a proxy war with Russia. We had 5 million people cross our border illegally since Joe Biden took office. And let's compare that to how many Russians have invaded Ukraine. 82,000 Russians have invaded Ukraine. I think the American people and the taxpayers of this country deserve to know why the Biden administration and this Congress is so interested in funding the protection of Ukraine's border and not the protection of our border. That's a very good question. I also want it to be known that approximately 56,000 thousand Americans die every single year from fentanyl poisoning. This is a tragedy that's happening and it's practically invisible. Now, while we have, we have uh, injured Ukrainian soldiers walking the halls of Congress, and I just saw them today, and they're being paraded around. It's tragic and heartbreaking to see these men. They've been injured in this war, a war that America should not be participating in, but they're used as pawns 
to to talk people like us into funding the protection of Ukraine's border, but not the protection of our border. And that is extremely wrong. But all the families that lost loved ones, 56,000 a year Americans dying from fentanyl, we don't see them walking the halls of Congress. And that is, that's tragic. Now, our job is, is to use the American tax people's, taxpayers' dollars for our country and for the security of our border and for Americans, but that's completely being ignored. So what this resolution will do, let me explain it. It's a privilege resolution, so I entered it in today. Now, they have 14 days to decide what they're going to do with it. Those, those, are, those are days we're in session. And then, if they make no decision, I can force this resolution to the House floor for a vote. And guess what Congress gets to decide? If the committees say they want nothing to do with it and refuse to tell the American taxpayers and the people of this country that they will not show transparency and provide all of the information that I'm demanding and my, my, my colleagues here are demanding, and we're asking for everything to do with military, civilian, and financial aid. We want it all. If they refuse to be transparent, then I'll be pushing this to the floor for a vote. And then if Congress votes this down, guess what the message will be to the American people? It will be, you don't get to find out what's happening with your money. They'll be telling the American people no. And I think that is a very bad message to tell the American people when it comes to the security of our border, the protection and safety of American citizens, especially when, be, when being compared to a foreign country, a country that's not a member of NATO, a country that should be being told to negotiate for peace and end this war, and a country that our American military, our American taxpayers should not be funding. By the way, we're funding their budget too. Did you know that? We're funding Ukraine's budget with with $11.8 billion is going to assistance, including for direct budget support. The question is, is Ukraine now the 51st state of the United States of America? And what position does Zelensky have in our government? This is outrageous. And the American people deserve answers. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to...